So today we got Ahsoka. Uh, she's our only female Harris Hawk in the company. And we're actually taking her out to do some duck abatement. There's this golf course that's had a lot of problems with just ducks being kind of, well, and geese being just all over the course. And uh, a lot of poop buildup is starting to happen. So a lot of the golfers are ending their day playing golf with a bunch of poop on their shoes, on their gloves, on their golf balls. So we're here to just kind of reduce those numbers. And so I guess let's see how she does. Should be a fun day. Yeah, it's they're so easy to scare though, man. Your hawk's coming back in. Just trying to out of the frozen piece of meat. <laughs> Let's do it quick. That widgeon that mm -hmm. was here just flying the hawk once. What was that, like a hundred of them? That was probably, probably like 200, 200, 300. 200 yeah. widgeon just flew the hawk once and it scared them all down. So. Yeah, there's only it's what? Perfect. Five. Oh, well, there's like there's, there's a few five, coots uh, coots. over there, and then I think there's a couple widgeon just like going down that way. But all it really takes is like flying the bird, you know. Once once they kind of learn like, yo, this hawk is hunting in this area, the widgeon dip out so fast. It's really just the widgeon and the geese, and so we'll let the hawk fly around the widgeon and the geese, and just that action alone freaks them out and thankfully widgeon and geese are the most skittish around hawks um the mallards they're not that skittish around hawks they'll just hop in the water and they'll sit there they won't fly off uh but that's not too bad because the mat there's not very many of them and they don't really tear up the grass nearly as bad so um that's our job and she's doing a great job at it so she loves yeah, chasing ducks i mean i don't even see any geese right yeah, now no you guys geese. Did good um I mean, this bird probably in her lifetime has caught over a hundred ducks, so she's pretty confident at chasing them. And all I have to do is just let her go earlier so that she doesn't really have a chance of getting them, but she likes chasing them, so um, she does good. Yeah, she's coming in. Hey, there we go. Just, the, just her presence alone. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes the widgeon will will leave right when they see that that the hawk is distracted. I have to fly over them, or they might even fly off just because they see the hawk. Typically, if you fly the bird, fly the hawk over them once, call the bird back. If all the birds distracted, they'll fly off. There we go. <laughs> so you're diving? Yeah. Mm. Take, take one of them off, I think. So out here scaring ducks, our goal isn't really to say get rid of the ducks completely. Uh, that will never happen. There are ducks that migrate in and migrate out. Uh, there's ducks that come from, say, other uh, water sources, other golf courses that'll come into here and then leave. That's not our goal. We're not trying to completely get rid of them. What we're trying to do is just reduce the amount of them that like to hang out on the grass. Because if you look here, you can see all the kind of widgeon poop that's, that's up on here. And all we're trying to do is reduce that amount. We're not going to be able to completely get rid of it, but we can reduce the amount 
um, that they're like, you know, pooping or ripping up the grass. And in order to do that, we got to be out here every day. Uh, so we're out here roughly four hours a day in the morning when they like to come up and eat. Um, doing that encourages them to hang out, say, on the opposite side. Uh, a lot of these, a lot of the widgeon are hanging out way down there. Um, but they'll chew on the grass on the opposite side of this uh, pond, and that's totally fine. I almost want them to feel safe on that side so that they spend more time over there instead of over here. So it's kind of like we're training the wild ducks in a way, uh, but it works really well. You can kind of see the effect that Ahsoka here has on all those geese. I'm going to let her go again. But she's got a really good... She's got a menacing presence, I, I guess you could call it. And it really freaks the ducks out. In fact, just her flying made them all start calling out. <laughs> so I'll call her back in and we'll keep flying her around, keep checking out the rest of the property. <laughs> 